Let's go over how to get Carbon and Flux in Neon Knights. Hey, yo, Blubbians, it is Sister Girl here. Hopefully, you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're back today in Neon Knights, and we're going to be going over the lovely two currencies that we have in the game, which is Carbon and Flux. I'm going to tell you all how to get them, the different areas and dives that you can go to get them, if you're selling weapons, about how much you're going to be getting, stuff like that. So if you have not already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the level like button, do the same subscribe button. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Let's get running into it. So first things first, Carbon is going to be the main currency you're going to get through the entire game. Now, you can buy carbon with Robux. Don't do this. Big waste of time. Big waste of money. Don't do that. Carbon is actually incredibly easy to get. Now, you get carbon a few ways. You can get carbon by completing your dives. Once you clear an entire zone, you get them. If you complete objectives during your run, you get them. You also get them if you watched my video yesterday. There's a little bit of spoiler. If you get to the very end of the dive, you can get carbon by turning in the trues. You also can get carbon from selling stuff. So if you have weapons that you are not going to be using, example being, I'm going to come over here to the cell station. Uh, I have some commons that aren't worth that much. Basics also not worth that much. You can go ahead and sell them. So this is entirely something to do. I will tell you that scraps, scrap weapons, if you ever pick those up and your inventory is full, go ahead and ditch them. They are the least amount you're going to be able to get. But if you've got basics... Commons, they do actually sell for a few apiece. You'll be able to rack some up. We do also get carbon. If the developers ever have to do a shutdown, they generally give out carbon as kind of compensation because they are destroying the dive you're in because you will fail it. You'll get kicked out. So that is actually super, super nice of them that, you know, if the game goes down, you actually get carbon as a reward. So developers, yeah, I need you to shut down about um, 30 times in a row right now, please. I'll wait. <laughs> So that's kind of all the different ways to get carbon. It is a really plentiful resource. When I made my review video, I had probably accumulated up to about 25,000 carbon. Now I'm saying it's probably a little bit higher than that. But there's a bunch of different ways you can get carbon in this game. Now, the next resource we're going to talk about is flux. Now, flux you cannot get with Robux. This is something you have to earn. Now, there's a couple ways that you can get flux. You can get flux by completing a flux dive. So under the specialty dives, you will have two attempts every day to do one of two locations. It's generally the junction from what I've seen and the shallows. Basically, you go in and you complete the junction. Basically, you maintain heat for a high amount of flux. This is one of my flux runs that I've done. You get it from every single mob. Every single thing you interact with in these runs will drop you flux. You get like 2,000 if you can get to the end. And you can get more if you complete it. So if you manage to complete all the objectives, that's another 900 flux. You get a lot of flux. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so trust me, once you start being able to unlock flux, you're going to get a lot. The other way you can get flux is if you are in District 5, Zone 5, Destination 5, whatever you want to call it, in the normal dive. In this dive mode, everything will also drop flux as well. This is an in-game thing you're able to get to. Now, is it the best way to farm going there? No. The best way to farm for flux is going to the junction and completing that. So that is my big tidbit is, you know, try and do your flux runs every day. Unfortunately, if you do have the junction, like today's, today's run is the junction, at least for me, so you have to be level 30 in order to, to even attempt it. So that can kind of be a little bit of a Debbie Downer, especially if that's what you get in your rotation. I hope the developers are able to kind of code the game where that's not an issue in the future. But I, again, I just wanted to kind of bring this up and be like, hey, this is what happens. So that is how you get flux. Now, the other way that you can get Flux is if you go to your daily rewards, you are able to get Flux as a reward. So you're able to get Flux and as carbon, it is given out. You can kind of also go to the schedule and see how much, like when you're going to be getting stuff on that. Uh, I think annual reward is like 300 and then like 200 Flux. So 
300 carbon, 200 flux, and you can get 750 if you do your daily streak. So, and daily streaks do reset. I just actually finished my first one. So super excited about that. So there is a reward you get for that N1. So I'll kind of actually probably do a video on that when I talk about, you know, things to pick up in the game. Uh, that's going to be a whole video where you, I talk about storage and all that good stuff. So there you go, plebs. That is how you get carbon influx in the game. So hopefully that was helpful. I'll see y'all next time.